Let me quickly show you three different ways to add Twitch chat to your OBS studio. I'll be showing you how to get your Twitch chat on your stream, either using own pro stream labs or stream elements. And if you guys just simply want your Twitch chat box right here on the side where you can read it, you can go to the settings in the bottom, right? And go to the stream tab. You can make sure your Twitch account is linked to your OBS. We click okay. We can go to the docs tab and then we click on chat and that'll pop up your Twitch chat here in case you clicked on this video for that. Also, in case you clicked on this video because you're a one monitor streamer and you want to read your Twitch chat over your gameplay because you only have one monitor, then you actually need to watch the video in the top right corner because it covers that topic. So the first method we're actually going to go with today's sponsor, OwnPro. I'll leave all the links in the description down below so you guys can easily follow along at home. So the first thing we want to do is click on join for free, click this little Twitch button and link our Twitch account. And then once we're on the dashboard, we can simply hit this download button to download the OBS plugin. And then we're going to download the most recent one for 28 plus. So now before we actually install this, we need to make sure that our OBS is on the most recent update. So we're going to go to the help tab in OBS, and then we're going to click on check for updates. And now you can see no updates are currently available, meaning we are in the most recent update. So we're actually going to run the installation for this own pro plugin we just downloaded. So we're going to accept the agreement, click next. We're going to make sure that it's saved to our program files where OBS Studio is installed. Otherwise, this will not work. So please make sure you're installing it to the correct location. We're going to click next. We're going to hit next again. We're going to hit install. And now we're going to hit finish. Now we need to close OBS Studio and reopen it. So I'm going to close it. And I'm going to make sure that I run it in administrator mode. Mode. So I'm going to right click it, go to the properties, go to compatibility, and then run this program as an administrator is checked. So that way it always runs it as an admin every single time we double click it. So I'm going to click OK and just double click OBS Studio. Now you can see at the very top, we got this new little tab that says own pro and you can click on the overlay and alert store if you would like. And they have five different overlay packages completely for free if you would like to use them. Or if you want to switch between hundreds of different overlay packages, you can upgrade to the premium, but that's entirely up to you. So if you want, you can just go and download one of these overlays and it'll import everything you need, including a live scene, a starting soon and a just chatting scene. But let's say you don't want to use any of that. You just want the chat box. I'm going to make a new scene to display that. So simply because we installed the own pro overlay, we can go down to the sources and now we have a new one called own pro chat. So we'll click that. We'll click OK. We're going to click OK again. And then you can see it's connected to my Twitch channel right there. So I can say hi, YouTube, send that message. And now you can see that I have my Twitch chat over my game right here in OBS Studio. For method two, we're actually going to be using stream Streamlabs. So we're going to go to streamlabs.com, which I'll also leave linked in the description down below. And you're going to log in with your Twitch account. So that way you can get to your dashboard. And once you're on here, we're actually going to go to the Streamlabs search bar. And I'm going to type in chat box and it's going to bring us to chat box widget settings. Then from here, you can see that we have a bunch of different customization options. You can simply choose a different theme like boxed. Or if you want to just do Twitch, then you can go and switch it to Twitch and then go and click save settings. And then now you can see that it's changed. But once you've done all the customization settings that you would like on this page. You can click this little copy button right here. So we'll copy that. And then we're going to click copy. Make sure to keep this private and not share this with anybody. And we're going to go back to OBS Studio, add a new source, and then we're going to actually use a browser source. We can call this one Streamlabs chat box. If I could spell Jesus, there we go. We'll click OK. And then I'm going to paste the URL that I just got from Streamlabs right here. And then I'm going to click OK. And then now I'm going to go and type some messages in my Twitch chat right there. And you can see that we have our Streamlabs chat box right here on the screen. Before we get to the third and my personal favorite method, if you guys want to get more streaming tips and tutorials like this, you can drop a like for this cute little ghost that one of my viewers made me. And if not, that's totally cool too. But for my third and favorite method, we're actually going to be using stream elements. Once again, this is linked in the description down below so you guys can easily find it. But you'll go to streamelements.com and we're going to log in with our Twitch account. We're going to authorize it because we got to give it permission to view our chat. And it's going to bring us to our dashboard. From here, we're actually going to go to the streaming tools and go to overlays. Now, you can see I have this box chat by Coca, which is what we're going to be using. However, in order to get to this, I'm actually going to leave a link in the description down below that will automatically import that overlay to your stream elements count, making it that much easier. So once you click that link, it should add the box chat by Coca to your overlays, which I just did for me. And we're going to go and click edit. Now you're going to see this is what our template is going to be for our box chat. So you can see on the left hand side, this might look a little confusing, but I promise it's not that hard. And we're going to click on settings and then we're going to click on typography. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can change all the customization of the text, including the nickname colors and everything, and change more settings underneath this. You can also test messages under the other tab, click test message, and this is what it's going to look like on the stream. So if you want, you can change all the different things like the font color. Let's say we want to make it black, so I'll click select. And then from here, we're actually going to click save in the top right. Then we're going to go back down and click on test message. And now that kind of looks a lot better, but you can get crazy with it, make it look nice and cool. But the important part 
is that you make your changes, you click save, and we're gonna click this little copy overlay URL button right here. And we're gonna go back to OBS Studio. Then we're gonna go to the sources tab. We're gonna click plus. We're gonna go to browser source. We're gonna call this one stream elements chat box. And then from here, I'm actually gonna change the width to 1920 by 1080. And then I'm gonna paste the URL that we just copied, place that right there, click okay. And now I'm gonna type in some messages over here, like hi YouTube. And I'm gonna type in a couple more ones just so you can see what's going on. And now we have our stream elements chat box over our stream. As always, when you're adding your game capture, or whatever you wanna display, so I'll just pick a display capture. Make sure that your chat boxes are always above your game capture, otherwise you won't see them like so. This is below, now it's above, and you can see everything. So watch this video to the side of me. It's gonna help you so much on your streaming journey. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.